video for my point of view of how to set a big square RCA car model in brushless. So, the matter of things was 10 years ago, that's very expensive. Lipo was expensive, motor was expensive, ESC was expensive, and the performance was zero. It's lot of warming, lot, not a lot of time of play, and the gas for the B-Squel have always the advantage. 10 years ago. But now, with technology, with some company, we can provide us some cheap and good electronics. We can set a one-fifth scale motor properly not to do a rocket for me my, my philosophy is not to do a rocket it's just to make us pleasure with more of time to play with safe electronic not going in warm just stay cool lipos with small lipos not very expensive you can use it in another model you can turn it and this is not only the lipo of, of the one fifth scale but then it could be the lipo you can use in a one eight scale on another model so for me the good ratio power and weight because the weight is a main major problem to put an electronics on large square model is one ace so five volt four volt per kilos so for example for a FG like this it's middle chassis at the end with all the lipo with all the motor with all the thing you are going to be around 10 9 kilos so minimum is 8s for the mcd it's 12 kilo the, the minimum is 12s and i put it in 60s so 16s so for low z 5t for mcd xf uh, xr5 it's for low Z5T, for DBXL, etc., etc., which are um, heavier, you can put it in 16S. All the thing and all you have to keep in mind that my philosophy is not to increase the voltage to go faster, it's just to increase the voltage to go longer, to have longer set of time so that's mean you have to adjust the kv of your motor and your gear ratio to obtain the same speed you want the speed you want but in higher voltage so that's my philosophy and you will obtain a safe readable and not so expensive uh, configuration so the main thing that's for the 8S, 2-8S, we can do it. We have Obi-Win, we have Mamba, Mamba, we have Castle, we have ZTW, which makes some ESC car or motor brushless car very good. Which are very good for 2-8S, no problem to find ESC, to have program card, to set it easily, etc, etc. No problem. So for a small FG 8S, it's almost okay. But when you increase the, the weight, when you go to the low Z5T, you go to the, um, the DBXCD, etc, etc, it's increased the weight. And after 8S, you have only two solutions in my mind. And I, as I know, maybe there are another, but you can tell me if you want another. You have as an ESC, you have the ZTW, which is 12S, 
very user friendly, like a Nobi Win, but it's 400 euros and 600 grams of weight. And the electric thing is always a problem of weight because less weight, more speed, more time, more time play. That's easy. So, and the other side is to set and to go with a flyer ESC model. Flyer ESC model is um, is like Apple and Microsoft. The TV, it's Microsoft. Everything is straight. You can you get you can program it. It's you, all in box. Apple, you can play with it. Maybe no, not not now, but some time ago you can play with it. And Flyer, you can set everything and you can change your program, etc., etc. You can change. Them. It's like maybe Linux. Okay, it's not Apple. It's more Linux. But it's once you understand the philosophy and how to set your ESC, you can use it. And it's very, not very expensive. For 16S ESC, you have, you can have it for 230, 13, 30, 30 euros. And for the motor, 28S, you have Mamba, you have uh, Leopard, you have... Uh, all the things you have, you have very lot. You have rocket, you have surpass. Everything is is fine, but twelve s and more. You have not so much motor who can do that. And the only thing I find which are not very expensive and a good factor is the, the triple S motor. That's originally bought motor for brushes bought motor because here you can set the water cooling on it. But it's very well machined. The quality is very good. The ball bearing are good. Look at the neodym. It's very, very tough. It's six pole, I think. And we got a lot of them and we have not own, we have we haven't any problem with that. Maybe you can put some air cooling on it to be sure, but if you set with the right KV and the use the right uh, gear ratio, this is not a major problem. The the thing is this this motor can exist in different size. You can it in 50 uh, 50 la la. 50, uh, 56, uh, 92, to 56, uh, 124 millimeters as size, one minute, one minute more, and lot, a lot, a lot of KV available. Starting off for the bigger one to uh, 200 KV, as for the smaller, or then more than one. Thousand curve, so you can choose plenty of sync, and the check the the voltage. You can take plenty of voltage. So that sync are best cheap and very very well done for our project. So thank to them to put to provide us this motor because without them, no high has uh, no um, high has project for our large square model so that's what i want to uh, say for how to set the electronics and how to choose your electronics to to um, for your large large square model and i hope it help you and and uh, try to understand the philosophy of what i want to do with the large square is just to have fun, is not to make the competition for me, it's just to have fun, long plenty of time with cheap and reliable and safe setup for your large scale model because once you pilot one world large scale, it's like when you it's like when you drive for the first time the X-Max, it just wow and you can 
the other thing are, are just boring. Not boring, but different. But yeah, so easy to drive. <laughs> so uh, let me know if you want uh, any question, if you want any links for all the things I'm putting in this video. And I will thank you to follow me. Okay, see you, bye bye.